$37. Yes, yes, yes. $37.99. Did I get it? Um, I'm a little... What? Did everybody drop everything out of their carts and not buy anything? Yeah, that happened. So this actually literally sold out and had a long wait list. And now I still have 11 in stock. All of them have 11 left? Was it our fault? No, 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 it's not your fault. Wait, none of the, none of the people bought them? What did that, guys? Uh, I don't, I, mean, I, I don't know. People what is it, mommy? I don't know. Okay, so it's a nice thick sweater here. This sweater was also sold out and now there are 11 left. What? Again, so. Um, please tie the top. You can tie the top. You cannot tie the top. You can make it loose. You can make it size for oversized. You can size down one. Zip your lips. Sold 107. SML XL, 1XL, 2XL, 3XL. I'm not going to let you guys do this anymore. I'm not going to. I had the discussion with you before this live. Okay? I wasn't talking. Who was making noises? I, let, let's keep in mind that we have a camera that's pointing right at you. Uh, I wasn't doing I wasn't doing tiny sounds with Donald. Okay. I wasn't. Okay, I well. Did a little sneeze. Okay, well, you want to know what? Next time you're reading, I will make tiny sounds next to you and see if you enjoy that. Okay? Would you enjoy that? No. So it doesn't matter how big or little, it is extremely distracting, and I'm disciplining you on the live. Not everybody agrees with the way we discipline our children, so a lot of people are probably not thrilled with me right now. With you. Okay? So please, I love you and I appreciate your help, but you guys can wait five seconds for me to change out of something to look to the next item, okay? You need to look, you need to learn some patience and practice it. Okay? Deal? What? It doesn't matter. Does it matter if I'm speaking to you or I'm making little noises next to you while you're reading? Either way, it's extremely distracting. Am I correct? So it's the same to me, okay? So you have to think of it that way. You guys, like, I literally, I turn around for five seconds and explain something. It takes me maybe 30 seconds. And you guys are rolling around on the floor instead of waiting for me to ask for the next item. Patience. You don't need to be doing something every five seconds, okay? Thank you. Sorry, guys. And I know, like, a lot of you are probably like, oh, my God, she's the worst mom ever. Here I am. No. So here I am. So please don't judge me for my parenting skills. It's just, again, frustrating. Okay. So, Matthew, next item is the dress that I'm wearing. Then I need this. Then I need this. Oh, no. Oh, it's not, I'm not embarrassed by you. I am never, look at me. I am never, come here. I'm never embarrassed by you, okay? I love you all the time. Yeah. Even your little crazy quirks. But you love me too, even for my mm -hmm. little crazy quirks. Mm -hmm. We just need to work on, um, like, you know, practicing patience and, like, you know, not making little noises. Mm -hmm. It's not embarrassing. You don't embarrass me. Look at me. You don't embarrass me, okay? I love you. Okay. Thirty-seven. Yes, yes, yes. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Did I get it? Um, I'm a little. What? Did everybody drop everything out of their carts and not buy anything? Yeah, that happened. So this actually literally sold out and had a long wait list, and now I still have eleven in stock. All of them have eleven left. Is it our fault? No, 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 it's not your fault. Wait, none of the, none of the people bought them? Why do you do that, guys? Uh, I don't, I, mean, I, I don't know. People what is it, know, mommy? I don't, know, I don't know. Okay, so it's a nice, thick sweater. Vitamins right now. <gasps> oh, well, I'm glad you're sharing your experience, but telling me that it's setting me up for failure, that's not your experience. You're telling me what's going to happen to me. Do you get what I'm saying? I have no oh, you have a scanner? I've printed out live cell hoppers. <sighs> Who does he think he is? Okay. Good morning. So I posted that joke post about not doing any research on my builders or whatever. And 
hiring the cheapest thing possible. But anyway, someone was, someone commented on Facebook and said that because I'm Asian, that I'm going to let that Korea comment slide. And I'm like, I could have said Romanian or Jamaican or Hawaiian. I don't know. I didn't uh, say it because I think Koreans build shitty houses. Like, I don't... Korea is not known for building a house. It was just the first thing that popped into my mind. To be quite honest, the reason it popped into my mind first was because a lot of my um, clothing is made in Korea. So I was like, what's a country? So I was like, Korea. But like I said, like, I, I would have offended somebody either way if I put Romanian, I don't know, Grecian, whatever, Italian, right? But... It, but it was just Korean because that was the first thing that came up into my mind. And I shouldn't have to like be, I shouldn't have to let it slide because I'm Asian. It's just like, it's kind of one of those things where it's just like, it was a joke. And like, not everybody is racist. Like, I feel like we live in a world where everybody thinks that people have ill intentions or that they're automatically racist. And it's like, are there people that exist like that? Absolutely. I am also absolutely not one of those people at all. And um, I, it's just, I feel like we just need to be a little less like on guard. And um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think the person who said it had ill intentions. But like, I also think it's silly to kind of say something. Y'all. I am seriously contemplating selling the house and just moving to the condo and until we find, I don't know, something like extraordinary or a three bedroom condo here because it's not so much that I like don't love my house because I absolutely love my house. It's just like, this is literally my happy place. And I just feel like this is where I belong. Like, this feels more like home than any house that we've ever had. I don't know. The kids love it. Every time we get there, they say how much they missed it. If our condo had another bedroom, we would probably literally just sell our house now and not even think twice. But I'm seriously contemplating it, especially while the market's still up. Hello, party animals. Judgy Dog here. I'm here to give you a little tip. Don't be a know-it-all. Because I had somebody just be a know-it-all and throw some information at me. And it was not the correct information. So, and you know, it just, you look that much worse when you do it with like a snotty attitude. Because you're like, pfft. I know it all. You, you did this wrong. It's like, don't be that person because one, even if you are right, you look like a jerk. But two, you could be wrong. And in this case, she was wrong. So moral of the story, don't be a know-it-all. Unless you are like 9,000% sure that the information you're providing is accurate, I wouldn't be throwing things in somebody else's face. So I know, I think I have a black legging obsession. So I've got this whole drawer. I've got that drawer. I've got that drawer. And now I have this drawer of brand new ones. I've got a solid colored clothing obsession. I've got floral and tie-dye rumper dress obsession. And of course, a very, very strong layering obsession. I also never sleep with my sheets that are like make the bed and I have my little bit of crappy ass, dirty, like stained sheets there and the nice ones are there. Also not even staying in this house. And the sports bra and the scanner and uh, we are heading back to the condo. Here we go. Hello, friendly neighborhood business owner here. If there's one thing that I've learned 
about being a business owner, um, it's that no one reads. So you guys know we post our like dollar jean deals, you know, dollar legging, free legging, whatever. Today we have $5 Judy Blue deal, but there's an entire like caveat of verbiage that you should be reading per before purchasing. Literally says, please read. And people are purchasing them without listening and following directions. So what it also says on there, because clearly they haven't read to begin with, that if they purchase them without following the directions, that they will only get a common sold credit back. So we automatically go in and credit those people's common sold accounts who don't follow the directions. So for instance, for $5 Judy Blues, if you spend $150 with us, it doesn't matter on what, I don't care what. If you spend $150, you can add the $5 Judy Blue add-ons. That's literally what they're called. $5 Judy Blue add-ons to your $150 order. You'll get free shipping and you'll get the Judy Blues for $5. So you can add your preferences and the notes, comments, yada, yada. People are literally checking out with like five pair of $5 Judy Blues and nothing else. So what we do is we just credit their account and now they're getting all pissed. And I'm like, listen, reading is fundamental. We all learned that in kindergarten to read the directions, right? So like, please, I understand some people genuinely make mistakes, but we are happy to give the comments old credit because once that transaction is ran through, I already paid fees on it. So I should not have to refund you. No us it doesn't matter i should not have to refund you because you didn't read that's not my fault i'm super clear when we do things like this it is like listed out easily if you ever had questions you can always intercom us you know what i mean like i feel like it's foolproof but some people literally just don't read and i'm like i already paid fees on that purchase so please i ask of you can you please follow the directions and if you don't I'm not mad at you. I only get mad and upset. I'm not even mad. I only get upset, I should say, when you don't follow the rules, I put the credit in your account, and then you charge back. That's not cool because you didn't follow the rules. You didn't read. That's not my fault. And the reason it's a credit is because I've already been charged fees on it. So you're lucky I'm giving you a credit at all, the full credit. So please, just follow directions and read us it doesn't matter i should not have to refund you because you didn't read that's not my fault i'm super clear when we do things like this it is like listed out easily if you ever had questions you can always intercom us you know what i mean like i feel like it's foolproof but some people literally just don't read and i'm like i already paid fees on that purchase so please i ask of you can you please follow the directions and if you don't I'm not mad at you. I only get mad and upset. I'm not even mad. I only get upset, I should say, when you don't follow the rules, I put the credit in your account, and then you charge back. That's not cool because you didn't follow the rules. You didn't read. That's not my fault. And the reason it's a credit is because I've already been charged fees on it. So you're lucky I'm giving you a credit at all, the full credit. So please, just follow directions and read. Well, yes. Do I love one quick last thing before someone says, well, most men don't do that. That's not my problem. When I got married, I knew when I was looking for a partner, I was not taking anyone who was not willing to share equal responsibilities of as me. And if you did, great for you. But you can't then be like, oh, he's the best because he does it. I'm sorry. That was part of my prerequisite. If you chose to marry someone who didn't have that or didn't do it, that's on you. And it sucks, but you should have had a little bit of a higher standard or maybe expected more. I don't know. And I'm not trying to be rude. So please don't take that as me being rude. It's just like that was a requirement. That's a hard requirement for me. If you are not going to help around the house or be involved, I'm not interested. Moral of the story, the spaghetti and meatballs were delicious.
We wear this every day in the winter when it's cold out. This is what I layer over my Pam dresses. This is what I layer over my Ella dresses. This is it. So it's Love Stitch. It is a high-end brand. It is something you will find in like Saks Fifth and Nordstrom. This is like probably, this is pole quality. You know what I mean? Like it's up there. But I genuinely, do I have them here? Did I bring them to the new house? Uh, they're the new house. I have them in five different colors at the new house. Oh, I have a popcorn one here. Yeah. The colorful one. Yeah. Look, you think I'm lying? I ain't lying. $32. Is anybody awake out there? I feel like, hello? Hello? Everybody, I feel like everyone just dumped their card on me. Oh my God, I'm, I'm getting a little hurt. Um, so this hoodie is fitting true to size. You can absolutely, I know I posted on Instagram earlier on my stories that like, I'm like, you know, I just love it here. Maybe we should just live here. And we've always thought that we just wish we had another bedroom. It's not feasible to live here long-term in this tiny space, but if we had another bedroom or two, we probably could get away with it. Unfortunately, there's only what five units in this whole building yeah. that have th three bedrooms and we're not willing to give yeah, up five with the view. We're not, yeah, with the front view. We're not willing to give up those windows because not all of them have that. So it's a, it's a waiting game. I'll tell you one thing. If one of those came up available, we would 5,000% move here. We've said that since day one. We love it here. Um, okay, I'm looking at you guys. Yeah, it's, you didn't miss anything, bro. That's it. Winging it. Now means... When you guys hop on, give me a hi, hello, just so I know that you're here with us. It's literally 11.22, I'm sorry, 11.24 p.m. on the East Coast, and we're invoicing. And when I say we're invoicing, well, I, should I say that we haven't even put a dent into invoicing, correct? Correct. Not even a dent. Like, not even a close dent. And again, guys, I'm not, like, fully paying attention because I need to get this invoicing done, which it's not going to get done tonight. But um, I kind of want to give you guys an idea from start to finish of how long it takes us to invoice you guys and why it takes so long and why we ask you to fill out the forms the proper ways and... Mindy. So if we like pop off the screen, it's because we're picking product back there. Hi. Again, I just kind of wanted to go live just to show you guys like a full invoicing experience, kind of what happens here, why it takes so long, why when you guys tag us and you're like, where's my invoice? And I'm like, dude, it take it, it like we're going to be here all weekend, like literally from sun up to sundown to put the boys to bed to get a babysitter to come back to do this all over again every night so um okay let me just go pick a carly matt's here so hello invoicing our lives away like pam said so when we invoice you guys we have to pull your items first that's how we catch our oversolds, guys. We pull your item first. This is for Cindy. Cindy.